Hello everyone, welcome back to One Shot. Oh, Lynx, let me know when you're back. I'm back. I don't know why this keeps happening. I keep on quitting the game and then your world goes dark or something? Possibly. Fireflies. So we just reunited this brother and sister. Oh, by the way, what happened to the sun? I lent it to someone in the ruins. She said she wanted to feel the sun again before she... Oh, you must be talking about Mace. Is that her name? She's a powerful plant spirit. She used to protect the Glen, but once the sun died, her health rapidly deteriorated. Oh. I'm glad you were able to find her in time. I think we might be already too late to save her. I know. But I'm glad she got to see the sun again. It's good to be home again. Alright, you guys got anything in your home I could take, you know, for my journey, you know, for free, you know, free stuff? The back room is full of dust and cobwebs. I don't want that. Okay. Let's go ahead and leave. I don't know if we're going to get our son back. I guess we'll worry about that later. Wait, can I just get out of here? Oh, I can't travel fast right now? Oh no. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to walk a long way. But I don't think I finished exploring everything outside of this area. So let's go ahead and explore the world. Was there anything that I missed? We need, we have a feather. We need a pen to get past this robot guy. We don't have, I guess, one of those little things that you put ink, I guess. We don't have ink. I don't think I've got, ooh. Ooh, what did I find? Are these doors? Th those are tiny doors. <laughs> Hello, sir. I'm not ready yet, but would you like some stew? I'm not hungry, but thank you. It's the least I can offer the savior. Um, I'm, it's some kind of stew. Give me. Don't be afraid to ask if you want some stew. I want some stew. Coles, give me some stew. Don't be, I'm asking for your stool. Stool? No, stew. No, you, you got it all wrong. Nobody saw that. Nobody saw that. I don't know what I'm doing here. Hello. Wow, your eyes glow in the dark. Yeah. Just like the sun. Sure. Hello there. Daddy says the world is very sick, but Lynx can make it better again. Are you Lynx? Uh, not really. I'm just the messiah they sent. I can talk with Lynx, though. Wow, what's that like? Really cool. Re really cool. Uh-huh. We're, we're talking right now. It's really cool, isn't it? Oh my god. Last week, I saw more of those squares while out fishing. I knew better than to get too close. Squares? Squares, man. They're bad news. Those glitchy squares. What could they possibly be? Oh, hello there, sheep. <laughs> Alright then. The crops have been growing slowly without the sun, and there's no telling how long our surpluses will last. Please, Savior, you have to hurry. I, I'll do my best. Yeah, I'll try, I mean. Would you like to help me herd my rams? There's a great reward in store for you, I promise. Yes? Excellent. To the south of the peninsula inhabited by my rams. They are all standing in unfortunate spots. You need to move them into the darker moss. If you get stuck, ring a bell, and they'll all return to their original positions. Good luck. South. Oh, these guys. Darker moss. Oh, it's a little puzzle. How do I move past, though? I'm stuck. Can I keep on Oh. Oh. Well, there you go. So, move you there. I think I did that wrong. I think I did it wrong. Get over there, hurry up. Okay, you too, hurry up. I'm trying to save the world here. Okay, and now I'll move this one, one over. And then there you go. <laughs> all right, where's my prize? You provided a great service for all ram kind. In return, take this fine ram wool. Oh, uh, thanks. What's, what's wrong with that ram? What's wrong with you? Yeah. Okay, okay, God. What the heck, man? So we got wool. It's kind of useless. Water? Uh. 
Yeah, I don't know. Hello there, sir. I think I have something I'd like to trade. You'll take the wool, right? We, what can this wool get me? Wool, huh? That'll get you this fine vial, love. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's some sort of fabric dye? O okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Pleasure doing business. Uh, wh what? Bottle of dye. Dark blue liquid used for dyeing wool. Can't combine those. Combine those. Oh yeah, we have a feather. Oh, okay. I saw it in a picture book once. Feather pen. Well, that actually turned out pretty easy. So now we can go on to the next area. The flood could take away our farmlands, but it can't take away our fish. Let's go ahead and teleport. Can we teleport to the... The gate? <laughs> Where are we going? Where's the robot? Oh, here he is. Hello, robot. I have a pen for you. I found a pen, sort of. Indeed, you do. But you are not forgetting something. Oh, the sun. Yeah, we can't leave this world without the sun. Wait, can I quick travel there, please? Please, game. Please, game, just make it easy. Forest? No. I think I have to go to the ruins first. And then we have to walk all the way to the sun. Okay. Oh, man, it's really dark over here. Did the power run out? I can't even see anything. Oh, what happened? She's gone. Oh. There's something on the ground here. It looks like a kernel of corn. She must have left it behind. The, the light's gone out. Lynx, do you know what happened? No. You? Really? But, but... Oh. What am I going to do? Oh, okay. It, it lit up again. Phew. All right, what do we pick up? A seed, apparently left behind by maize. Maize is like corn. Corn seed. That's probably the remains of maize. That seed. Maybe if we plant it again, she'll grow again and come back to life? Possibly. Let's go ahead and travel back to the big robot. Alright, robot. I'm too tired to go on right now. Please let me nap for a bit somewhere. I remember seeing a room to the west. It looked like it might be a good place to take a rest. What? No! Why are you always so tired? Huh? <laughs> I took a break. Shouldn't you rest when I'm gone for a second? Uh, whatever. Oh, it's right. Oh my god. It's, it's right next to the place. Okay, I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yes, go ahead and take a nap. I'll wait for you. Oh, I forgot. The game shuts off. Okay, your nap's over. Nap's over. Come on, launch. You done? <laughs> Wake up! The episode's not over yet. It's like a similar dream to last time. Hmm, you're in a cornfield. You see something. A town. Your hometown, maybe? You had a good rest? Lynx, I had another dream. Did you see this one too? Yep. I was in a big field, like the one in my last dream, and I saw my village. But then I woke up. Uh, I don't think this world has anything like that. I mean, big wheat fields. The only big plants I've seen here are a bunch of weird trees. And those balls of moss floating in the water. Wait, is moss even a plant? Say... Have you seen a wheat field before, Lynx? In person? No. But I know what they look like. So yes. <laughs> oh! They're really pretty, aren't they? The one around my village goes around for miles. The plants are really tall. Sometimes I can't even see through them. When it's windy out, the wind makes waves in it. It's like an ocean. A food! Oh wait, but there's food in regular oceans too. Like fish or crabs. I've never actually been to a real ocean until now, actually. Uh, I've been to the ocean. That's really cool, Lynx. I've only seen the ocean on TV before. I never thought I'd get a ride on a boat through one. The water back home doesn't have glowy stuff like it does here, either. Uh, but I guess it's because the world is already so dark. You know, I used to be scared of the dark, Lynx. 
It's a little hard to imagine that now, after spending so much time here. But not long ago, I couldn't even go to sleep without a lamp. Um, not long ago? It's good you got over that. Me too? I still sleep with light on. Not that I can't sleep with light on. There's always a light on though, so in case you need to get up, you're not hitting anything, right? Really? Even though you're a god? Yeah. <laughs> I see. Oh, but it's a good thing I got over that fear. Otherwise, I wouldn't last long here. Then again, I've been carrying around the sun, so it's not too bad. And also, I don't feel scared at all with you guiding me. So, thanks for that. Anyway, maybe we should head out now, Lynx. Yes, you're ready. Well rested for about 10 seconds. <laughs> Let's go. Feather pen. I found a pen, sort of. Good. Please write your name here. Where? Oh, there we go. Good job. <laughs> Good luck. Where are we going? Where is this supposed to take me again? I, I just remember you saying I needed a pen. <laughs> uh, what in the world? Run. What? Uh, hey. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Don't panic. Don't panic. It's just a friendly neighborhood missing, no? We're just trying to figure out who they are. Oh, next city. This is the final one, right? The final city. And then in the middle is like the, the tower thing, I guess. So, oh man. Are we already really up high? Well, at least we made it. Ah, the sun! Hello, Messiah! Welcome to the refuge! Do you understand what you must do here? I'm supposed to go inside the tower, right? I already see the tower, so I guess we must be close. Where's the entrance? On the surface! The surface? Look down, small one! Oh, we're pretty high up. I guess I gotta go down a lot of stairs. Or find an elevator. Correct! However, the tower is a sacred place. Finding the entrance may be easy, but that alone will not be enough. What do you mean? Once you reach the surface, I recommend visiting the library for leads. Alright, thank you. Off you go then, I wish you luck. I'm afraid this area is off limits to you. Only the bearer of the sacred kernel is permitted to access the garden. Ooh, ooh, sacred kernel? Sacred kernel, you'll say? I'm afraid this area is off limits to you. I got the sick. oh, like the kernel of corn? I have this. It was left behind by the plant lady of Glen. That is indeed the Colonel. Then it is your duty to regrow her. Do you understand what you must do? Sure. Good. You may pass through here to access the garden. Yeah, I was kind of 100% right. So let's... Where's the garden? This way? This way? Maybe up here? The only way you can go, Lynx, obviously. A god should know that. Sorry, Nico, for letting it down. So let's plant the seed right here. Time to plant the seed in the planter. There's no dirt in this pot. Will the seed really grow like this? I don't know. You think I know things? <laughs> um, how about try putting a tube of water? I can't just pour water on the seed. It needs dirt. Okay. Amber? I don't think that's gonna work. Well, let's try it. There's no dirt in this pot. Okay. So yeah, we need to find dirt, and then I guess we might try this little amber thing, or we might just pour water on it. Either one. Let's go look for some dirt. Come on! Come on! Work already! Huh? What was that? I don't know. Follow the arrow? <laughs> Why isn't this working? I, I think someone might need help. Oh, not that way? Sorry, I don't know where it's coming from. Uh, down... No, nope, no, nope. not that way. I know, I know, Nico. Over here. Come on, come on. I'm too busy for this. Uh, excuse me. Whoa, you're you. Everyone's themselves. Ah, jeez. I didn't think I was gonna run into. This is embarrassing. Uh, is there uh anything I can help you with? Yes, please. I would like to know how to get to the surface. Yeah. I was afraid you were going to say that. Right now, this elevator is the only way to access the surface, but yeah, just take a look at it. It looks like an elevator. Well, you're not wrong, but go look at the button panel. 
that button panel though. Huh, there aren't any buttons. Yep, that's the problem. There's usually a big button there that says ground on it. You know, because it takes you to the ground area. But now it's been ripped out or something. I tried looking everywhere for it to no avail. M maybe it exploded? Do you think we have to make a new one? What? How? We'll figure it out. God. <laughs> it's not impossible. Okay, there's a little uh, glitch right here. We'll avoid that for now. What the heck? Where are these arrows taking me? Don't trust it, Nico. Don't trust it. What the heck? Okay, well, this is the only place we can really go, so... Hello there. Oh, hi there. Hello. How come there aren't any people here? Normally cafes have tons of people. Yeah, it's a really slow day. Do you think it's because the ground access elevator is broken? So I've been told. The city's infrastructure has been suffering a lot lately. Skywalks and stairs breaking off left and right. Now the only reliable way of transport are those elevators. Until now, anyway. Okay, well there's something shiny over here. It's an empty coffee tin. Empty coffee tin like you could pack dirt in it. So we have to pack dirt in the coffee tin, plant the seed, grow it, <laughs> maybe. You know, the tall guy came in here earlier saying the same thing. He asked me if I've seen a button that says ground on it. He looked pretty stressed, so I wanted to cheer him up. I told him the only ground I've seen today is coffee grounds. He, um, he didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, he's freaking out and you're giving him jokes. The perfect remedy. Okay, so we can't go this way. All the other ways are kind of blocked. So let's go ahead and backtrack a little bit. Up here. This way. Yeah, I don't believe we've gone this way yet. Hopefully we can find the dirt we are looking for. What the heck is that? You hold on. You look weird. <laughs> and a tape dispenser is bolted to the table. Mm, I don't think we can use anything to remove it yet. I am the power room mechanic. Do you have an issue to report? Yeah, actually the surface access elevator appears to be broken. There's a button missing and can you take a look? Leaving this room is not in my programming. Ah, oh, never mind. What is this thing? Some sort of computer terminal? Okay, so we need to find a wrench or something that can remove bolts. Good evening. Well, the time of day doesn't really mean anything now. With the sun gone, the night never seems to end. Then how can you tell? Time, I mean. I have my ways. Yeah, his face is a clock. Where'd the music go? Is this supposed to be a creepy place? Because I'm a little creep. A heavy piece of metal set in the wall. I think it might be a door of some kind. There's a small screen here in the middle. Huh. Small screen in the middle, you say? Huh. This place is actually pretty big. Wow. I've actually never <laughs> been to a big city before. All these lights, all these people. I guess most of the world's population lives here. Yep. Oh, that's it? Okay. <laughs> well, unless there's something over here, I think we're going to... It's a very different from my village. The village is very small and surrounded by huge fields. You saw a bit of that in one of my dreams from a while ago. The tallest buildings in our village are only two stories tall. We're going to listen to Nico's story. Exactly what we're going to do. What about you, Lynx? Where do you live? Um... Could you call it a city? Yeah? A city? Like this? Wow. I can't imagine living in a city. Must be exciting. Not in the city, next to the city. <laughs> and kind of scary. The view is nice, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah I guess it's alright. Except it's super crowded. A bunch of cars, a bunch of people screaming. And it's, uh, yeah, let's not go in the city. Let's avoid the city. Let's just live around the city, but not in the city. <laughs> oh, man. Wait, are we walking around the city right now? Is this why it's like an endless loop? 
I think this is literally a walk around the city. We've got stairs here. And this should take us back to where we just were. Okay, so we just walked in a giant circle. And there's just a door here. And not much else except for this computer. You're going to need this soon. Take this film and expose it to the void. The answer will be revealed when you bring it back again. The computer printed out a strange transparent sheet. Expose it to the void. Steal clueless figures. Want another tip? Yes. There's a void beyond the four walls that bind our world to yours. The edges of your viewport where everything is obscured. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Pass the film through the void and back again. What? The edges of the screen. That is, that is not that is not it. Close it? No. Huh. So we got another puzzle here. I have to take the transparent sheet and drag it towards the edge of the screen, but I don't see no sheet on the desktop. If we go to documents, there's no new document. There's the one shot document, but we've already seen this. Wait, drag the sheet to the edge of the screen? Is this working? Edge of the screen? No, that would be like magic. <laughs> uh, in there and then out again. I don't know. I mean, we don't really have any items in our... We got weird film in our inventory. A transparent sheet filled with numbers. Oh. Oh, we take this. We take... Oh. That's cool. 63014. 63014. So. I don't know what we need to use that for 63014 but we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here there's a lot of stuff in this area there's probably a lot more puzzles we still have to find some sort of dirt we have to find somewhere to put this code we have to find something to unbolt whatever that was we have to find another little square thing to insert to a door so we're, we're gonna start off the next episode doing that and hopefully we can get to the tower and hopefully we can save the world. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Link 4 out.